What's up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Party Chat. I'm Matt. That's Dan. That's Ash. Hello. And we are TGI. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to join me like you were doing this before. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> this is a weekly show about three special people who get in a bedroom and talk about video games. Uh, this week... As with every week on Party Chat, we're just going to have a 15-minute conversation about a particular topic, get into it, get everyone's thoughts around the table. This week is The Division week, so we figured, well, technically it was last week because it came out last week, but we decided now we've had it each for just under a week at time of recording, so we would have a a conversation so we can dive into it a little bit more, our thoughts so far, kind of a a review in progress, Mm, as you will. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if you do like video game conversations, we also do uh, news <coughs> stories and Let's Plays and everything. You can find out everything on our website, thegamerinitiative.com. So guys, The Division. In a quick 30 seconds or synopsis, what is your thought on the game so far? Ooh. Ash. It can be more than 30 seconds. Okay. Not, not time with you. Um... I love the game. I, I love that uh, we can you, you can play online with uh, with your friends, and it's still a fair game. I think the gameplay works well. On a downside, I had some server issues this week, waiting in a queue of twelve hundred or more people to get onto the game, uh, which frustrated me somewhat. I've got over it, but at the time, yeah, you were getting quite angry. I was raging. Yeah, I like, fucking you were <laughs> Ah, it was just I, imagine being Rainbow Six Siege players who got I had to health. wait 45 <laughs> minutes to play the game that I was long it took sat there hit. looking at the screen reducing I was 1200 in line 900 in line it was just coming down so slowly and that's the only way to play the game it's not like it has a, a, a single player because it, it, it's an online game you yeah. have to be connected yeah um, and queuing on a, on a Friday evening uh, when you know the Americans are coming online at that point, you know it's, God, it's Americans. evening prime time in the UK and Europe, and yeah, clearly everybody was online on Friday night, and I was queuing for forty five minutes just to play the game. So I, I wasn't happy, but you know the game itself does make up for it. But I hope that that is not an ongoing issue. Do you have any server problems? Dad? Yeah, I've the only thing I've had in terms of server issues has been the occasional sort of drop. Where I've been. Running yeah. around, where it's, like, like, where it's been like, yeah, it's like yeah. servers aren't available. It's like, okay, cool, log in. <laughs> it's just like it's not properly unavailable. It's just like for one moment, it's decided it's not. you're not there. Mine does it. But yeah. it's like, I'd add like um, I did have a bug at the very start of the game where um, the activate your agent thing. Yeah, I had that as well. Like, trying to act, get on the keyboard thing. It's like the number of times my guy clackety clacked. Sometimes actually over there clacking, clacking because of... Uh, there were so many people in that first zombie. On the launch, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. did you get it on Tuesday? Did you play Tuesday? Uh, I didn't, I played Wednesday. Okay. Well, on I, launch, I, 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 I was saying, Wednesday. there was just so many people in this safe house. Now I'm discovering safe <coughs> houses and going in and there's only like four or five. Yeah. And I logged in, because I have the PC version as well, I logged in on the PC version yesterday, lunchtime-ish, yeah. and there was like three other people in the room so I just yeah. walked up to the laptop and was like yeah all you had to do to fix that one was log out and log back in and it worked yeah. but Even it's like that. apparently some people because it's sort of I don't know why Ubisoft decided to have a cluster point as the activation zone <laughs> for like getting started where everyone had to go it's and really activate weird. this one point and it's like you can only do it if you can get the activation to work it's like no that's it was a bit of a silly thing to do. Yeah, in, in hindsight, I think that's probably one where people went, did well, we this... really approve this in the planning meeting or, kind or of thing? Or but just... I, have, I have seen a picture of and where it's actually like, because it backlogs itself, so it can take 10 minutes for you, I want you to activate that thing to actually clear through yeah. and so on. I did see a picture in one say of that safe house where people had actually formed a queue. Formed a line, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my friend was telling me. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was, like, it was telling like a two by two queue, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, all the yeah. way. My friend was telling me the same thing. He was stood in a queue waiting to get on the laptop or something. Yeah. Which I thought was just hilarious. That, that didn't must happen. have been British that didn't people. Happen. That didn't must happen with me. It was like it was That's a beautiful thing, it was, though. It was basically yeah, yeah. like people were running in at this thing. Yeah. It's like it wasn't as full as like what I've seen online in terms of the number of people. But like 
people were to some extent basically kind of waiting their turn yeah. and such. Yeah. But it wasn't a queue, it was just kind of like everyone's huddled around the laptop going, You done? Yeah. You done? Can I log in See, now? <laughs> in, in a lot of clips I've seen, it just looks like it's a. It's like <coughs> the safe house is like a scene from like a gay nightclub. In the, <laughs> there's just like a hundred guys in there doing star jumps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just. <laughs> so, connection server issues aside, yeah, I've had I've had no connection issues. I had that activation. It's the only thing I've had. But the game itself is very addictive. Mm. It's very addictive. It has exactly what I wanted. The the environment is really really good looking. It is. Yeah. Not quite E3 2013 or whatever it was good looking, but still good looking. Um, there's this this whole loop of, oh, I just need to get that better loop or the better supply so I can yeah. upgrade my bases. It's got that, which is really good. The cover base shooting is really good. It's really satisfying when you defeat one of the bosses or the super enemies because yeah. they are... That's the only thing. Is like they are literally bullet sponges. You can mm. use hundreds and hundreds of bullets on them. Yeah, that, that is the one downside of it. Like, and it's, it's it's difficult to have. It's that either way. you go for realistic shooter, or you go for like they've done the whole. It's basically a point system. So yeah, like the number of points you have to take off each enemy to knock them down. Yeah, and they've obviously gone that way, because you could go for a shooter where it's like, okay, we're going to make it realistic. But that also means it's realistic to you. So if you poke your head out and you get shot, then you're down. And it's like, yeah, you can see the, why they went with what they did. But yeah, there's, like, there's definitely would... a good way to go about all of the different types of enemies. We were talking about the flamethrower yeah. guys um, the other day, and you know how you need to keep your distance. You've got to be conscious of, of where they are at any given time. Because I've pinged so many of them in the tank now. It's yeah, just like ridiculous. Got to. Yeah, but I'm not even. To. I'm not even trying. It's just like this. It yeah. seems to me when I started out. It would just be like shoot the center mass, and that's yeah. what happened. That's exactly yeah. how I was doing it. And then now it just seems to be my bullets just going ping, 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 ping. Oh, I don't even have to finish with you now. I know you're done. Yeah. Move on to the next target. So yeah, so I do. I do like the fact though that the game helps differentiate with what you're shooting with those guys because your crosshair is red when you're hitting them. Yeah. And it goes yellow. I don't know if you've noticed that. Yeah, actually yeah. goes yellow when you're hitting the tank. Yeah, oh, I haven't noticed. So okay. you can so you know where your aim slightly. So for the longer range stuff, yeah, you know what you're hitting, yeah. if anything yeah. at all. Yeah. So that is cool. And it's white, obviously, if you're shooting that. If you're missing. Yeah. So there are, obviously, the different classes of enemies that we've seen so far. We have the looters, the rioters, which... Rikers and stuff. And, so often, and yeah. the flamethrower guys you're testing to are called the cleaners. And they are there to basically... You know, as expected from description, clean up, <coughs> clean up the entire city because they think everyone is infected and they're just burning everyone in sight. But in terms of the different, I don't know how far you guys are into the main story. So I've, I'm pretty much on level ten right now. I've unlocked. I think in terms of main missions, I've done the first three main missions to unlock the three areas of my. Commanding. Oh, the safe house. So you've the done the subway mall. You've done the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I've, I've done the those. Lincoln tunnels. I've done a couple of more of the medical side ones. Yeah. The I've, next mission I've got is recommended level ten, and I'm at level eleven right so now. So that's fine. my next one, and obviously it takes you through. Yeah. Recommended yeah. levels. Yeah, yeah, I mean. and it's good. It's nice that you've got that. You know, you start off in you know the center of Manhattan or whatever, and or, or the center of the map, and you've. You've got your missions immediately next to you, which is uh, Subway Morgue, Lincoln Tunnel, and the other one, I can't remember, to unlock your tech wing, medical wing, whatever wing. Yeah, and security. Security. Um, and so everything's very close. Uh, and then within that vicinity, you've also got your encounters, uh, which mm -hmm. are going to pop up. There's a of events. As well as the side missions as well. So you, you, you're starting in your sort of level four to seven range of missions and side mm -hmm. missions, and then you move out, obviously, into the outskirts, um, yeah, that, I, I do like that, that the further you get away from the centre, I suppose, so the further, the more the outskirts, as you say, yeah. the, the required levels for those districts get higher and higher. It does. Yeah. So, like, where you are, by Madison Square is level one, three, Chelsea's, maybe four to seven, and then you start getting out by the Hudson, and uh, yeah. it it's seems kind of to me level that 10. the high level, although I did look at, like, the rough scaling of the map and how the missions are, it seems that the east side of the map is where you're going to be the, the harder end and where it's like the west, looks, the west yeah. side yeah. is your 
obviously northwest it gets harder and so on, but generally west is the easier side. Yeah, I found I haven't really ventured east that far yet because yeah. you've got the dark zone, obviously, which, which is, is kind is, of in sort of yeah. basically the map. It's kind of like your normal playable area is pretty much a U, and then the dark zone fills in that. <coughs> area. Yeah, yeah, bit. but yeah. I'd say it's a slightly off centered U. But it's off centered, yeah, yeah. So I haven't been in dark zone yet because I, be- I believe at some point the story is going to take me there, but. I find with these types of games is it's very difficult to actually, not difficult, but for me it's difficult to do the main story <laughs> missions because I just get sidetracked by everything. I'm doing every side mission, every encounter. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing something. I've already, I've already upgraded my medical wing fifty percent. I think that's I'm the thing. I'm quite high on that, like sixty yeah. percent or something yeah. like that. It, it can be a little bit overwhelming, I think, when you look at the map and how many icons and to, things to do yeah, that are on there. There yeah. is a lot, and I think you've just got to focus. I think on one area, clear the area of any missions and side missions before I think really going on too far and out of your level uh, zone in terms of missions. I mean, that that's my game plan. Yeah, I'm glad there's a lot to do. The only downside of it is when you're in the middle of one thing, you end up actually activating something else at the same time yeah. and it's like yeah. a number of things that I've actually been part way through a mission and then done an encounter just because I've run <laughs> through it day, yeah. at the same time it's like I didn't even mean to it's just those bad guys that like, I'm running that way you're in my way yeah. I need to deal with you oh yeah. it's a hostage rescue okay I'll finish that off now and it's like yeah and it's, it's like uh, it, it is it's good but at the same time it can be distracting when you're just trying to get to through that side mission don't play Fallout then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the only, my only real criticism of the game so far, because uh, server issues, I think for the most part, have been pretty good. Uh, they have I been think, pretty good. You know, has, yeah. Minus the odd occasion, but it's definitely not like a Halo Master Chief collection or something like that, where mm. there was just matchmaking problems all over the place. Yeah. My only complaint is the kind of the encounters and the side missions are a little bit repetitive. As in, like, go and kill this lieutenant or this person. You have to get through their two lieutenants first. Or, you know, go down to the subway yeah. and rest all the sewers. I mean, it's, it's the same. Even though the gameplay becomes different because of the way you, you know, you're in different areas, so it's different types of cover and stuff. The actual overall arching mission is very similar. Yeah. yeah. yeah but that was, that's kind of to be expected, to be honest. It's, yeah, it's not hugely surprising, but, like, when you come off a game... Like, say, even like The Witcher, where there's just so... I mean, you could break it down and <coughs> say, well, all of those are find someone or collect something. Hmm. But they're different, they're different enough to make you feel like they're different, even though they're the same. Hmm. Whereas, you know, if, if I need... It's protecting the supplies. It's just protecting the supplies. You could have it as... You could protect one thing and then protect something else. So even though it's basically the same, it would feel like it's different, if that yeah, makes sense. I know yeah. what you mean. But overall, opinions are positive. I think all around here we all agree, but it's yeah, it is a good guess. <coughs> um, I think I would like to uh, venture more into uh, the vendors and purchasing weapons, selling weapons, getting more involved in that because you know you can quickly uh, fill up your inventory of uh, thirty three or whatever. Okay, yeah, you can make it bigger, but you know it, it quickly fills yeah. up and you need to um, you know you need to, to what's the word uh, dis- manage uh, you've got your stashes yeah. as well you have you've got your stashes yes well I think it's only one stash even but though you think... have different safe houses it's all the same stash yeah it's which basically just an, it's an accessible bit. well it's an accessible but, box so you can be like well I've got this weapon that is like two levels higher than I am I don't want to carry it around I'll put it yeah, here yeah. and then I'll pick it up from a safe house when I can use it yeah. that's basically all it's yeah. there for but I think definitely trading in some of your weapons and, and other things, gear, um, in order to um, get better loot or, or buy better loot, find better loot, whatever. I think that's that's the, the hook. It's always wanting it's, that better stuff. It's the yeah. loot. It's you know, all about the loot, baby. Yeah. It's not just that. It's it's the the things that make no difference, but I still want as well. Is like the the clothes as well, the apparel oh, yeah. stuff. Is like eh, yeah. I'm still stuck on the basic shirt at the moment. I want a better shirt. Yeah. Even though yeah. you can't see it because it's under the jacket. I just want one. Well, you can not take the jacket. You can take the jacket off. Oh, well, there you go, then. Don't so, tell me that. So if you want to... If I get a good enough shirt, then I'll be able to take the jacket off. So I, I've, I've upgraded my shirt. I've, I've got scarves. I've got, got scarves. 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 You know it's I've not the scarves. same, is they? No. Yeah. I've got a trendy beanie as well. There was, I had a regular beanie, but I've got a trendy one. They're like, yeah, I'm trendy now. <laughs> Wearing trendy jeans. Going to look like a hipster walking through Manhattan with a gun. <laughs> 
Wow. But that is, it's just so addictive, like always wanting that it one. It is addictive. That, it is. That better gear and like, we were talking before off camera just about how the, uh, how like when you get the, the blue weapons or blue equipment, yeah. and it's like, which is the specialized, and it's like, that's like, yes. That's, you it's, feel, it's when we reach the heights of pink and gold is. Uh, that's yeah. when it'll be good. Yeah. yeah. But at the moment for me, it's still. Blue is our, it's, again, it's a scaling thing. You've got clear, so, which is, I guess. Gray, gray is worn. Green, green, green is green is standard. Standard, yeah, and then blue specialized. I did and hear of a that. gun which does something like thirty five, forty thousand damage per second, which is quite phenomenal compared to our That's probably in the dark two, zone somewhere. Our, our two thousand <coughs> damage per second gun. Is it a moment. nuke by any chance? I don't know. Uh, we probably should touch quickly as well on the trophies. So yes, that's the next thing. Platinum for you? Ash, I know you're the biggest I'm, I'm a big trophy haul. Yeah, I'm a big trophy haul. Uh, so, I'm having a look down here. They seem... They seem some manageable ones. So, <laughs> there's a couple of story ones here which I won't read out I would people. say probably not platinum for me because I don't intend committing a stupid amount of hours to this game. I've still got Far Cry to crack on with. Uh, I bought the Heavy Rain and uh, Beyond Two Souls collection as well. So, I've got a lot, a lot of games to, to play at the moment. So, I'm bearing that in mind. I will... Still probably sink 100 hours into this game. Um, yeah. But platinum hunting is not something I'll be doing. Fair enough. I'm just looking here. It seems they're all kind of story or get all of the collectibles. Um, there's there's things um, like in here, it's like extract an item at all eight extraction zones within the dark zone. Uh, yeah, it's they, the dark zone. There are some um, multiplayer yeah. specific ones. It's like um, complete 20 missions as part of a group. Heal or buff 100 times whilst in the group. Revive a teammate 20 times in co-op. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, like I've had that. So yeah, basically yeah. what we need to do is we need to get online. You get shot a lot. And we'll, just <laughs> keep, we'll just keep popping you back up. And yeah, it's fine. I think I've already got the revival. Complete one. 20 missions as part of a group, which should be quite easy, in theory. Yeah. Um, crafting things are in there. It is fun, you know, I mean, and that's the thing with this game. If you're the kind of person that does like just having a couple of hours of an evening, chatting to your friends, playing a bit of games... Um, it's a great game for that, you know. I've I've pretty much done it every night this week, um, and you know, get three or four of you in there. I mean, you can even have you know ten of you in a party chat, but you know, two sessions of you know, you're limited to four people within a within yeah. a team. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, bear that in mind if there's a big group of you that you can only have four per team. Uh, but it's yeah, it's good fun. Um, it doesn't necessarily make it easier because you still get if you've got one person playing you've got 10 enemies if you've got two people playing you've got 20 enemies so which is good you've still got I like that. enemies yeah. per person is fair and consistent uh, but but I suppose if you're playing as a group you've got somebody there to revive you res rather than respawning and starting again um, it, it, it's good playing as a group is, is good fun yeah I think we will be playing I don't know but I, I'm now I've got this I'm kind of thinking I'm probably going to be playing this game pretty much for the next month until I'm trying to think if there's anything else big coming. I think Quantum Break's my next one, which is early April. So I've yeah. got this pretty much for a month solid. There are other games I want to play and complete, but it's, I think realistically we talked about it, but I think I've run, I just want to play what I'm enjoying rather than what I feel I have to complete. I know. So, and that's my, my that's what I'm trying to do now, even though last week I said completely different. <laughs> I just realised when I was thinking about it after our conversation a bit more. You lied. I was thinking about it more and it's just like, yeah, I want to finish Me Metal Gear, but I feel like it would be a chore to finish it. Yeah, that's I, what you I, I played my 20 You play games hours. to enjoy them. Exactly. Yeah, I, know. I know. If it was, You don't want to feel know, like it's a job. If I could do it full time. Unless it is your job. Yeah, Unless it is if your I job. did it full time, <laughs> if, I, you know, if I could spend every hour of the day playing video games, which I suppose in theory I could if my mum would take me back home. <laughs> uh, but that would be a bit of a waste in my life. <laughs> Maybe, maybe when I finally retire at 60 or whatever, I can then get back and play At games. 83, at the yeah, rate we're going. When I win the lottery next week, I'm going to sit at home and play video games all day. So yeah. The Division, a good game. <laughs> Very good game so far. Yeah. Uh, but let us know your thoughts. One we're all enjoying. But yeah, let us know your thoughts down below, whether or not you're enjoying the game. Um, I think that's the one thing we haven't really experienced yet, which we'll have to do more of, is the Dark Zone yeah. at some point. 
Yeah. Even though it kind of scares me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the name itself. Yeah. yeah. I, I have been given the mission that we did get in the beta, which was go explore go the dark zone. Yeah. Which I'm sure will just throw some XP at me and go, good job, you found it. Try not <laughs> yeah. to die. Yeah. But plenty more hours to go. I there think. is. I think I'm about... I think I'm about 12 hours in so far, maybe 11. But that's at the time of recording this. By the time you watch this, hopefully that will have doubled. So, yeah. Well, for now, thanks guys, guys as always. Yeah. And uh, everyone out there, thank you very much for watching. Like I said, let us know down below what you think of the game. We will be intrigued to hear if everyone's enjoying it as much as we are. Uh, but for now, we will see you all next time. <laughs>